What's going on guys, it's Cbrev. Welcome to What Would Brev Do episode 31. This is the series where I, a top player, walk you through an entire ranked seasons game start to finish and talk through what's going on in my head the entire time. So if you guys are new, please subscribe. There's a ton of MLB The Show content on my channel. It's going to help you get better at the game. Some of it's going to entertain you, so be sure to do that. Drop a like on the video as well. That helps me out. Today we're going to be doing the much requested, highly requested uh, game with Shohei Otani on the mound, the new rookie of the year. If you guys haven't seen this card, uh, he's got decent pitching stats, pretty good actually in my opinion, and then he also rakes at the plate, 124 power versus right. So very unique card, very fun card to come out this late in the year. Uh, a lot to talk about with this card for this team. We're still going to be rocking with the God Squad lineup, and I am going to bat Shohei ninth. Um, I'm messing around with different slots for the pitcher when you have Shohei, when you have Brendan McKay, uh, but a lot of it is not hashed out yet, so I don't want to give you guys false information. We're also not going to be running with an opener in this one, although running with an opener with Otani is a very good strategy as well. Um, I'm just going to do a standard gameplay with him starting on the mound from inning number one, but there's a lot of co cool stuff, cute stuff you can do with with Shohei on this game, so maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. As far as the bullpen, we are going to carry Framber Valdez. I do this just in case somebody works me for a crazy pitch count early on. Uh, one of Shohei's biggest weaknesses is his stamina is only 90, so if someone works me for like 80 pitches in the first three innings, then I have Framber to fall back on, but I really try to stick with Shohei through as long as I can, like at least five innings just to get him as many at-bats as possible and use that to our advantage. Uh, with how rested my bullpen is, I probably don't even need Fromber. I could probably use a, a regular guy here, but I just like the card anyway, and these two kind of go in tandem for me, so I think it's cool. Um, you could all, you also don't have to use Fromber either. You could use Julio Urias, or you could just use a regular reliever with like 30 high 30 stamina. Uh, just don't torture bullpen when you start Otani. Long story short, as far as this lineup as well, we are a little weak from 8-9-1 with to a lefty. Um, I don't think it's that bad to where I want to start Mondesi over Mookie, but that is an option you have if you're going to run with this lineup uh, to kind of protect Otani better. The lefty in the 9-hole, you could play Mondesi at second instead of Mookie, but I'm just going to roll with it the way that it is. I'm kind of at the point where it's like if they throw me a lefty, I know it's a worse pitcher than what a righty could have been, so I'll deal with the lower attributes. That was kind of a lot. I'm going to talk through how I pitch with Shohei. Uh, while we search for a game, we are hopefully going to be on Hall of Fame in this one. Shohei does not have any quirks that help is per nine, so it doesn't really matter what time of day you play. And uh, yeah, with Shohei, I pitch pretty differently versus righties versus lefties. When I'm pitching right on right, I try to throw more sliders than normal, uh, mostly because that's the opportunity that you can throw sliders. Uh, sliders are kind of an off-limit pitch against left-handed hitters with Shohei, in my opinion, and this will be a recurring theme that you'll see throughout the game where uh, the toughest task for Shohei is getting left-handed hitters out, and especially when you're pitching from the windup to a lefty, can be really tough at times. So I do throw a lot of sliders right on right. Uh, just for the variety, because that's the opportunity that I have to throw sliders. I really don't want to throw sliders to lefties because it's slow, and if you hang it, uh, it's not going to be a good time. So against righties, it's mostly four-seam splitter slider. Against lefties, it's mostly four-seam splitter curveball. And I actually do think Shohei's curveball is one of the better ones in the game. I mentioned in the Darvish video how good his curveball was. Shohei's is kind of in the same... Uh, category because it's kind of an awkward speed and it breaks a lot and it's not a pitch you expect to see from someone who throws absolute gas so this is actually a rare occurrence where throwing the curveball with Shohei is actually pretty decent uh, but there's going to be a lot of the same principles that we talked about in the lefty grove video as well Shohei's best pitches for sure are the four seam and splitter we're going to be throwing those most of the time and uh, we're going to be throwing the splitter high a lot to create those high tunnels for ourselves and uh, to make the fastball better. We're also going to be throwing the fastball low in the zone, so kind of reverse pitching a little bit. Um, splitters high, fastballs low, really effective for Shohei. So leading off the game, we're facing Ty Cobb. We're just going to put the second baseman in just in case he wants to bunt. He could still bunt to third base, but people don't typically do that very much. So we start off the game with Shohei pretty standard here. A um, couple of high fastballs. He's being pretty patient, as one should here. Uh, we'll work the splitter in as well, just for show. Again, it's high, and that kind of caught him off guard. 
Now on a 1-2 count, we could try to bury this curveball again just for show. Again, it's a very awkward pitch. And if you hang it, uh, I find that Shohei's curveball is pretty magnet proof, meaning it doesn't accidentally end up middle middle very often. And if you hang it, it's pretty hard to square up anyway. So very underrated pitch for Shohei. Uh, now we're right on right. We immediately go to sliders. You can throw the sliders up or down versus righties. I definitely throw them down more. It helps set up the fastball down as well. Uh, but the occasional high slider to the right-handed hitter is pretty good. Um, we're going to just tunnel what we just accidentally threw there with a fastball. We missed our spot. And this is, again, one of the knocks on Shohei is his control. Um, you can see I missed my spot with that four seam here. Trying to decide what I want to do. I'm going to throw him a high slider, and I'll explain why afterwards. Good spot there. Dropped it in on him. Okay, so I'm going to have to pause. Sorry, opponent. Why did I go high slider there? Well, he... We threw him two sliders and then a fastball. The fastball was pretty much right down the middle, and he swung late, so he was not ready for it at all. Um, a pretty common double up in that spot would be to just go to the up and in fastball, right? The, being late on a fastball tells me that he wasn't ready for it, so a common occurrence would be to double up. Um, throwing the high slider is kind of trying to stay one step ahead, and uh, he did take the pitch, but I have a feeling if he swung, his bat would have been fast there. So that's why we went with the high slider. Again, sliders are a very dangerous pitch with Shohei, especially to lefties. Cannot recommend enough. Not hard, like, <laughs> barely throw any sliders to lefties. You will get crushed. Um, then we went back-to-back -back splitters there for the one, two, three inning. So that was only 10 pitches. Hopefully uh, that helped you guys. Um, and really the mentality you got to have when you're pitching a guy like Shohei, um, I don't know all the advanced terms in like horse racing, but really when you pitch a guy like Shohei, your goal is to get ahead early um, and really take advantage of the fact that your pitcher can hit. Here's an 0-2 count, and we're chasing a curveball because we're awful. Um, but yeah, don't don't sweat it if you fall behind early, but really Shohei has the ability to like take over the game if you take an early lead because uh, if you're having big innings, the fact that they don't get free outs early on with your pitcher is like obviously the biggest upside of using a card like that. So... Um, Feel very confident if you get out to a big lead with Shohei. That's really like the the ideal situation. So hopefully we can hit a little bit. This is our first game of the day, as you can see, by us chasing an awful pitch to start it off. Um, but we're doing what we always do, being patient. Uh, Prestige Bauer, I believe, on the mound. I think he had him prestiged. Definitely one of the harder pitches, pitchers in the game to hit for sure. Um, if they're going to give me walks early on, I'm going to take that. And we're trying to figure out what he likes to throw here. I assume this be something slow. He got me there. So <laughs> we got bailed out by a cheap hit there. So he did the one step ahead thing to me that I did to him. So good sequence by him. Nice up and into Willie there. I thought he might go slow because I did chase the curveball last at bat, but it's possible he just went fastball because he didn't want to walk 94 Willie Mays there. 94 speed Willie Mays couple away fastballs that we lay off of. We don't really like that pitch early in the count in this situation. Um, apparently, we don't like swinging the bat either. Man, I'm having a hard time today talking and hitting. Sorry, guys. Um, good sequence there, though. Triple fastball. Um, but we don't like the away pitches to the lefty there because we are trying to stay out of the double play. And swinging early at away pitches is, like, the number one way to hit a ground ball this year. So we're behind 0-2 again. What does he throw? Try to paint the fastball on us again. Good spot. Luckily, we swung the bat this time. If I struggle at the plate this game, <laughs> I do apologize. I'm not struggling anymore, though, because all you have to do is... Oh, we ran that down. <laughs> Thought that was going to drop. I was going to say all you have to do is swing early and, and be great, but good play out there by Ty Cobb. What a horrible inning for me. At least we, uh, at least we made this a pitcher focus video again. So again, right on right. You can see his bat's fast there. That's some pretty good information. Um, so we're just going to go back to the slow stuff, but we're trying to throw sliders, throw splitters, incorporate the four seam when we, when we can. I really do throw the four seam a lot with Shohei. I just haven't done it this game because his bat's been so fast early on, and there he finally slowed it down for the slider, so now we can kind of start to throw more low fastballs. Um, let's go up and in with one here, just see if he's ready for it. He takes it. All right, that wasn't a great spot, so I'm just going to go to a splitter now. Trying to figure out where his bat speed is at yet again because last at bat he didn't make an adjustment and put good timing on it. So, yeah, we get him early on the away splitter. That's one of my favorite pitches is the, the up and away splitter to a lefty. Again, like I said with Griffey when we struck out looking, 
a lot of the times when you swing early at an away pitch with a lefty, you're hitting a ground ball. So that's that's really what we're looking for there. He was so late on that, and it was a slider. And we're going to catch it. <laughs> he should never be rewarded on that swing, honestly. So I don't feel bad that I caught that at the wall. But 18 pitches so far, and if you've been paying attention to all 18, you can definitely see kind of the vibe we're setting up. Um, the pitches we're rolling with, again, going over it again. Lots of sliders to righties, lots of splitters to lefties. And like I said, I will start incorporating the four seam more once he starts slowing his bat down. Uh, the very last at bat that inning, he uh, he was late on an off-speed pitch, so maybe we'll try more fastballs next inning. I'm also throwing like every at bat as I'm talking, so let's go back to uh, trying to hit here. He's been throwing a lot of four seamers early in the count. He's been getting ahead in the count with me by just kind of by just kind of throwing fastballs in there. Um, he's working a couple sinkers here, but this is definitely an opponent where we may try to start swinging earlier in the count. Um, if he continues this trend. The problem is if he starts throwing more cutters, we're going to be early, early in the count, which I don't really like. But then yet again, there's another four seam pretty much down the middle. So this is an adjustment we may end up having to make as he strikes us out with the good sequence there. And uh, we're really just playing the mind games here. Machado's a classic four seam fastball. Dude, he is ahead of me already. Good stuff. Yeah, Machado's slow swing. A lot of people throw four seams to him, so... Good stuff by him. He's got us off balance for sure. Sorry if this is a disaster at the plate so far. But uh, not every game is is put up 20 in the first two innings, you know, especially not with me. That curveball looked way too juicy to take. Unfortunately, we can't find the timing. Let's see if he tries to paint another low fastball on us. He didn't paint that anywhere, and we missed it because we're awful. But he did go fastball. Um... Could be a double up fastball, could be a cutter here. Those are the two things I'm kind of looking for. Got to have a slow bat if it ends up outside. Slider. All right. Still looking for seam cutter, slow bat on an outside tunnel. And he threw the four seam outside. Dicing me up. Dang. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my head, and not a lot of it was working that inning. You can see his bat is slow now, though, so now we are making our own adjustments. I maybe picked that pitch a little too fast, and you can see he was ready for that fastball. That might have been a perfect, perfect grounder. Um, there's a little small tip where if you pick your pitch a little too fast like I did there, um, it's kind of implied that you picked your primary pitch. I don't know if you guys know about that, but if you snap pick a pitch, it actually takes longer to select everything but your primary so there are some situations where if you come set like way too fast, then somebody's going to know that you're throwing a fastball like with Shohei. Um, but you can see this inning pretty much exclusively fastballs. He did crush one. That should have been probably a home run. It was middle-middle. Uh, but we're making the adjustment as he makes the adjustments. This at bat's a little different because we were facing the pitcher, so we might as well show him some of the off-speed stuff. Get our pitch confidence up. Uh against the pitcher spot and just try to throw him some some different looks while he's got the pitcher up you could also uh put the outfield shallow here but i don't usually like to do that unless there's people on base and we get another strikeout so three solid innings from shohei we've only had one base runner ourselves but now we're gonna get shohei up at the plate see if he can do some damage against the right-handed pitcher on the mound himself uh, i really wish i was doing better offensively right now so that we could we could show the power of getting like Shohei up with runners on instead of just giving up and out. If you guys watch this series a lot, you know I'm quite often striking out with my pitcher on purpose to stay out of double plays. Uh, Shohei really allows you to avoid that situation entirely, obviously. There's the four seam. It's been his favorite two strike pitch by far. So in general, we probably want to keep a fast bat and two strike counts moving forward. Uh, right back to the cutter again common sequence that he's shown four seam then cutter uh, we'll see if he goes back to the four seam again he went slider away we were early and that is another bailout hit so a couple bailout hits for us pci was good timing was bad but we this is that situation i was talking about man we don't have to strike out with our pitcher because our pitcher is shohei otani and i need to start listening to myself about being a little more aggressive early in the count because that would have been a great first pitch to swing at um, Shohei's also really good at like making your opponent kind of fall asleep on the mound in regards to your base runner. So I'm going to take off with Mookie here. 
Um, he's so worried about pitching to Shohei that if you have someone with decent speed that can steal in the 8 hole, it's really, really strong. And now he can just let it rip with Shohei, whatever he throws. Trying to drop the curve on us. Uh, I gotta imagine this is some sort of fastball. Oh, we just missed that, man. <laughs> we could have crushed that. Who's playing second base? That looks like Honus. Uh, if that was a second baseman with a weaker arm, we could have maybe tagged there. So unfortunate at bat for Shohei, but we had good timing. We had a great at bat. We just missed with our PCI. It happens. He's just like any other hitter. Um, but in that regard, we were able to take second base with Mookie Betts. So there is something to be said about that. 2-0 to Trout. Um, he doesn't strike me as a, as a hose 1-2-0 kind of guy. All right, well, he did. <laughs> I have not figured this guy out yet through 50 pitches, which is great by him. Try to deke him here. Did not work. Um, what we did there, grounders to short in front of your runner. You can send him to third and then right back to second. Sometimes they'll panic and throw to second base instead of the first. Maybe that's cheesy. I don't know. And that was honestly another good swing by us. Uh, just over the top of the cutter that was middle down, we ended up hitting a ground ball. He's throwing more balls this inning right when I'm trying to be a little more aggressive. See if he goes hose me one here again. Nope, 3-1 to Willie. I'm inclined to take this pitch with Griffey on deck, but if it's down the middle, I'll probably swing. That was a good pitch. Now my bat's fast again. Try to paint me again. Yeah, two strike counts. He loves four seam. He's typically gone cutter right after, so let's see if he does that. He did. It was just an amazing spot. All right, we have figured out a little bit of information here. We have zero runs, but we've worked him for 55 pitches, and we've figured out his favorite sequences uh, with two strikes. So we know what we got to do. I'm going to put the bunt defense in here with the second baseman just because I feel like since we've thrown a perfect game through three, maybe he'll get a little more desperate and maybe bunt to third. I also don't like pitching inside too much when I put the second baseman in. Uh because it's more natural to pull the ball when it's inside. So he was early, perfect again. <laughs> I thought it was early. This guy's 0 for 2 on perfects and hasn't hit them out of the infield. That is pretty tough, honestly. Uh, we have been getting decently lucky on the mound, but we're also pitching a good game. And there's a classic case of the low four seam, the low tunnel. It's kind of implied sometimes that it's going to be off speed when it comes in low. And... Uh, it's kind of crazy, but we have not been able to pitch out of the stretch yet, which is one of Shohei's biggest strengths, I feel. I feel like show, all of Shohei's pitches look so much faster when he pitches out of the stretch. And so I'll typically throw a lot more more four seams and stuff when we're in the stretch. We'll go back to that slider. He did sit back on it, so he is making the adjustment pitch by pitch. And so doubling up is probably not going to be the move moving forward. That's the second time we threw double sliders, I believe, and he was ready for the second one. So we will keep that in mind. I also probably haven't been pitching high as much as I, I want to, but pitching high is really an asset, I feel, with runners on because it, it ironically induces the most amount of ground balls if you can get them to swing early at, like, high splitters and stuff. Uh, so back-to-back -back splitters here. I believe this is how I pitched him the first time with Stan the Man as well. So maybe I should pump the brakes on a third splitter. We did end up hanging the curveball, and he put a good swing on it. It wasn't an awkward spot. That was good PCI placement by him. Um, wasn't exactly a magnet. It was actually, I'm surprised he got his PCI on that perfectly. Good swing, man. Uh, it was very much in between middle and low, which is kind of hard to square up sometimes. Just a bad pitch, though. And he gets his first base runner, first run. All that good stuff. He's late on the four seam. And, uh, yeah, pretty solid inning besides that one pitch. Pretty solid game besides that one pitch. And, uh, we're, again, we'll try to work the four seam more moving forward. I maybe should have done that against Stan the Man. Shift on. Leading off the inning. I don't typically like to swing early in the count, but this guy has kind of been hosing four seams. So if there's one, like, middle-ish, I may pull the trigger. That was a good one to swing at it with the shift on, try to go the other way, but I was too late. See if he goes with the triple up here. He did. He did that earlier in the game, caught me looking with Griffey. See if he goes with for the quadruple up. I took the bait. <laughs> I just got bailed out again. This has to be a four seam, right? No. 
3-2 curve. He kind of pitched me a little a little scared there, I feel. Maybe he's just been burned by Griffey. Got to be careful what we swing at here. No double plays. Really, really scary to swing at cutters away in this situation. So kind of looking for the hard stuff, but not really. And uh, we just got diced again. I maybe should have swung first pitch of that sinker. But it was a middle tunnel, and if it was a cutter, we would have been... We would have been toast with a double play. We could also maybe try to steal to try to prevent that situation. Yeah, I'm going to go here since he usually likes cutters after four seams. He did throw off speed, which helps us out. Unfortunately, that one was hanging. Would have been a good pitch to swing at. But we swipe our second bag. Now we have a little more leeway to swing at whatever. Up and in cutter. Great spot. We are ready. Let's see if he goes slider or something slower. Trying to backdoor the sinker. Hasn't thrown that once the whole game. Good job by him. Just missed his spot. And then, uh, dude, he is he's owning me. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. He is destroying me right now with these sequences. That was a good PCI placement. We're down 0-2 again. Really nothing down the middle early in the counts either, which is kind of a bummer. Tried the same pitch he tried to Griffey. Maybe he goes cutter inside off that tunnel. He sure did. He loves that. Again, two strikes, four seam cutter. What does he go to here? Another cutter. And we suck. <laughs> Imagine I get shut out pitching Shohei, dude. <laughs> this guy Shohei's absolutely balling. He's made one bad pitch in four innings. And I just decided not to hit the whole game. Feels amazing, dudes. All right, last time we went up and into Yelly, so we're kind of pumping the brakes on the fastball, at least until we figure out where he's at. Yeah, super fast bat yet again. I really want to throw the slider here, but I'm just telling myself it's bad. I doubled up when I said I shouldn't have. Let's try his favorite pitch on him. This painted at four seam. Yep. <laughs> okay, people do that pretty often. Um, you can tell a lot about how people like to hit by the way they pitch if you paying attention enough. There's a bunt with Honus. I actually was not paying attention for that. Luckily, it was a bad one. If he bunted that to second, that would have been free. Uh, but people very often, especially in two-strike counts, will throw things that they themselves struggle to hit. And so that's kind of why we went low and into the lefty there. He pieced that. I think that was another perfect for Trevor Story. I think he's 0 for 3 on perfects. <laughs> How are we in this game? But Shohei's absolutely balling, man. Literally one hit through five. We worked Bauer for 74 pitches, so at the very least, if we keep this up, we uh, we should be sitting pretty. Get him out by, like, the seventh. I did swing first pitch with Manny there, who gets rewarded late side of good more than anyone. And he probably should have caught that on the run with Cobb. Yeah, I think we just got bailed out again. I don't know why he didn't lock on. Maybe he didn't get there in time, but I feel like he did. So that's kind of tough. I will take the leadoff triple, though. Another four seam? Yeah. He really likes, I don't know, early in the count, if he throws a four seam, I, throw like he, I feel like he just throws that until he gets to two strikes. Can I run here? This is Ty Cobb, so I'm going to go. It's probably still really close. All right, we're in there. So that's classic, knowing your opponent's team. It's Ty Cobb in center field, weak arm. We can afford to take that risk there and tie the game up. So did we deserve that leadoff triple probably not but it keeps us in the game it was a pretty decent swing middle middle fastball late side of good with machado you're gonna get rewarded for that a lot so we will take it now we'll see if shohei can get the offense going himself kind of sucks that shohei gets gets shifted but it is what it is a lot of the time you'll get your pitcher spot up with runners on so You'll very often get people forgetting that you have Shohei starting and like intentionally walk your eight hole batter and stuff too. I've had that happen. <laughs> it's actually amazing. So he's doing a good job here. This is really tough for me because I'm behind in the count and he just re is relentlessly pitching me inside now, which basically if I have good timing, I'm going to pull it into the shift. So I'm kind of trying to keep a slow bat on these and maybe we get lucky and like late it down the line the other way, but I really need a pitch outside to do something with here. Uh, unless I hit it over the wall, which which could happen. There we go. Oh, it was too late. That's basically the ideal pitch we're looking for there. The fact that we missed that one really sucks. Yeah, then we're just early on the slider. Couldn't wait back long enough. Kind of just uh, 
work to me there. Again, my apologies for hitting like dog in this game, but it happens sometimes. I actually haven't played ranked in a hot minute as well. But it's a Shohei video. Hopefully you guys are learning a lot about how to pitch with him, and hopefully it helps you guys out on the mound when you use Shohei yourselves, which hopefully you picked him up before the event ended. All right, 3-0. We're just taking until two strikes. Our goal right now is basically to get Bauer out of the game, so if he wants to walk us on four pitches and raise that pitch count, we'll take it. Uh, maybe we'd be a little aggressive here now. We could also try stealing. It's worked twice. I'm going to go second pitch yet again. Since this maze at bat is basically free, we are going to be safe yet again. One thing he's not doing is respecting my speed on the base pass. That we're three for three stealing. Now we have an opportunity to take the lead on a single here. And he hit us with the slide step cutter. Man, that looked like a juicy four seam when it came in. Four seam away. Does he go up and in just like he did earlier to Willie? Inside, fastballs to Willie are very common. Good block by Pudge there because this is not MLB 19. All right, does he go up and in fastball? I'm absolutely cheating on it. If he throws me like an inside cutter or something, I'm going to flail at it like I've never played MLB The Show before. But if it's inside, I am turning and burning, dude. Oh, dang it. <laughs> he accidentally threw a ball. He's going to double up. He did not double up. Dang, look at that spot. Crazy pitches, dude. Absolutely nothing we could do with that slider. But the good news is Bauer's at 98 pitches now. So in theory, with him going 8-9-1 here, it would make sense for him to pinch hit in this inning. And it looks like he's going to warming up the pen. Trying to work the four seams in more. Uh, Pudge also a very slow swing himself, so I typically like throwing four seams to Pudge in general. Just seems like Pudge gets rewarded late side of good like less than anybody and has a slow swing. Not a good combination. Not a fan. Let's try to bury a splitter. We haven't done this once. Maybe he chases. Wow, he did. That was nowhere close to where we wanted. Fox? Okay. <laughs> I hate to break it to you guys, but we are about to give up seven runs this inning. That's what's going to happen. We just lost the game on that sequence there. He's early on the fastball as we wanted. Dribbles it up the middle for a single. And now this is heavily awkward because when it's first and second, you can't put your second baseman in. Sometimes. Is he going to let me do it? Yeah, it doesn't let you do it. So, he could easily just bunt for a hit and load the bases here. We can try to bunt defense with everyone else, but this is really awkward. Like, Ty Cobb is the absolute last person on planet Earth I wanted to play right now. Luckily, it looks like he's swinging away. And you can see from the release points, now that I'm finally pitching from the stretch, Shohei's pitches seem like they come in so much faster out of the stretch. He was actually late on a splitter there. Also, big props to this guy for not bunting there. Actually, mad respect on that because that would have made my life very, very awkward. But yeah, a lot of four seams, a lot of splitters from the stretch, and it just seems like his four seam really gets up on you out of the stretch. So I think it's his best pitch for sure. He's late side of good there. We may get out of this back-to-back -back, uh, outs there, fly outs. We still haven't thrown 60 pitches but this is the guy that burned us earlier. Do we try to go with the lefty slider? We went splitter. He's going to run on Griffey. It was a good idea to go back. This is tough, man. We're going to mound visit for some confidence here. Uh, that was basically as good as an intentional walk, so I will take that. We actually got our confidence maxed out from that mound visit. Interesting. All right, we said we weren't going to double up. He just flailed at a slider, so I'm going to throw a low four seam. Please do not crush this. He was late. Okay. We said we weren't going to double up again, right? This is classic high slider territory. I hung it, kind of. <sighs> no double ups, but I want to go low slider now. It's a good spot. What a take. I wonder if he's sitting fastball. That was a crazy take. I got to throw it here. I really don't want to get to 3-2. We got him swinging late. Let's go, Shohei. Man, that's sequencing that inning. 
really got us out of trouble there. If you guys want to watch one inning to learn how to pitch with Shohei, especially out of the stretch, that was absolute perfection navigating that situation. Man, I'm really happy with how we're pitching, man. This is this is honestly how I feel like I, I pitch with Shohei most of the time. It, it surprises me a lot that people say they struggle so much with him on the mound. So hopefully this video is going to help you guys out. Man, I'm just trying way too hard to go against the shift, missing pitches like that. He's taking the shift off with two strikes, which I guess implies that he wants to pitch me away. I guess that's what that means. That is what it means. That's what he tried to throw. We got bailed out with a bad swing again. I think we've taken... The only good swing we've taken all game was with Machado. Crochet's pretty easy to steal on here, too. Uh, we've gone for second pitch a lot, so I'm going to pump the brakes and go on the third pitch. But it still seems like he's not paying attention to us at all. So we are going to take off with Griffey here. He slide-stepped. Oh, we just got so lucky. I probably could have kept going with Soto out there, too. Man, he outplayed me so hard there. He baited me into stealing, and he slide-stepped, and we accidentally hit and ran there. Man. <laughs> this guy is actually, as far as hitting goes, I, I, I swear this guy's outplayed me so far this game. I got nothing but good things to say about this guy, man. The biggest of props. This is turning into a very intense game, and now he's got to navigate a situation. The same situation that we were in. Obviously, we're sitting fastball here. Two men on. Tati's at the plate. We missed. He'll probably just throw another one. Oh. He threw it just below the zone, man. Oh. That is the perfect spot for that. What a pitch. Slider? No. Dude, this is insane. I can't believe I just repeatedly don't hit this whole game. 2-0's no got to be a fastball here, right? I might swing. He went slider. Okay, well now we take till two strikes, I guess, with Machado on deck. Make him counter with a righty. I'm never looking curveball there, so that take is fine. Good changeup spot. Does he go triple off speed, or does he try to blow it by me here? I was looking off speed. Dang it! Dude, what a game, though. You don't get pitcher's duels like this too often anymore. This is this is good stuff. We are going to get the pin warm in here. Even though Otani's been dealing, uh, it's not that bad if we bring in a reliever this inning if things get dicey because we can pinch hit next inning since it's going to be the nine spot up. All right, no double ups. So we go force him up and in here. Just rocking the chair this guy to death. Maybe he's pitching, picking up on it. Uh, no double ups. We'll go back to the splitter. Bad, bad spot. I'm going to double up here just because I missed my spot that bad. Try to get him to chase this again. He did. All right. Jimmy made the play behind the plate. Last time he bonded with Honus Wagner. So we are definitely going to play for that in this at bat. And we're going to go back to the four seamers to the righties. He could easily turn and burn for his pitch here. I'm actually kind of glad that I missed my spot there. Up and in was maybe not the spot for that first pitch. Doesn't seem like he wants it, though. Really doesn't seem like he wants to hit this pitch this event. Do we go away with it? I kind of hate it. I feel like he's just going to hit this past my second baseman. All right, it is a ball. We absolutely cannot afford to walk Honus Wagner in this situation. So here's a freebie. And he didn't miss. Swinging away 3-1 with Honus. Good on him. We got lucky that stayed in. It's going to be a double. Just kidding. It's going to be an out. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> that was a desperation sin, dude. I will take it. Holy cow, this has been the weirdest game of all time. Why did he send him there? That is mind-blowing. Obviously, we're going to spam off-speed this at-bat now because he just destroyed a fastball. We threw probably too many of them last at-bat. And uh, we'll try to bury a splitter one more time for old time's sake since he's chased it. We missed our spot. Now we'll go up and in fastball. Classic sequence. And he's late. Man, I am so inclined to leave Shohei in here. We'll see what he does. If it's a righty on the mound, I might leave Shohei in. If he counters with a lefty to, like, Mookie or if he leaves Crochet in, I'll probably have to pinch hit. 
And I think we want uh, I think we want Goose next inning. It's gonna be a very high leverage inning. I think we want our best guy on the mound there. If he goes righty here though, Shohei Shohei's getting a couple batters to work with. He did go with Kenley. Alright. <laughs> Shohei could give us the lead after pitching seven innings of four hit ball. Good pitch by him so far. I have no idea how he's going to pitch with Kenley because I haven't seen him do it yet this game. And Kenley's pretty pretty different from Bauer, even though they have similar pitch repertoires. Uh, Kenley being the cutter primary, people tend to pitch differently with him than they would with someone like Bauer, so we'll see. 3-1 to Machado. We're taking this all day, every day. A leadoff walk is absolutely massive here, especially considering we're at a right-on-right -right disadvantage. And we get it. Do we try to steal with Machado? 46 speed. We're probably hosed if we try, but I'm, I'm very tempted. He would never see it coming. I was sitting sinker the last two pitches. Does he triple up cutter? He likes tripling up four seams. He did triple up cutter. It's at my eyeballs. We're going to take the lead on the worst swing of the game. <laughs> this, is, this has been absolutely the worst game I've ever played at the plate. I can't believe that's, that's the swing that's maybe going to win it for me here. And uh, Shohei gets to stay. Wow, that was that was disgusting, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, into the shift. Dang it. I don't understand how those swings are ground balls this year, man. I am like a pixel on top of that. Those are the most frustrating ground outs for me, I swear. That ball should have been destroyed with that PCI placement. Regardless, uh, we're going to make two quick outs because we suck. Ooh, bad throw by him. Mistake. We're going to steal first pitch here because he's tilted. We got a bad jump. Dang it. Maybe we get a slide step out of him here. Yep. Slide step change up. So he slide stepped twice this game. Both were slow. That's a dot. Probably should swing at it, but here we are. This guy has absolutely hit his spots the entire game, though, dude. Once again, nothing but respect for this guy this game. He has played amazing. We got a two-run home run and took the lead on some garbage. Shohei gets to pitch the eighth yet again. We're going right back to the four seams against Pudge. I am not scared of him whatsoever. And he's not getting a leadoff walk like we got because we saw how that went. So here's some four seams for you, sir. Do we triple up here? Probably not. Let's just bury another splitter. This has seemed to work. I don't know what that was. That was about as good of a pitch as I can throw there, too, and he accidentally <laughs> checks one. There we go. That's what we're looking for. If it's working, we just try it, especially when we have that big a leverage O2. The worst we can do is bury one once, and then he just takes it. So who's off the bench here? He's burned Soto. He's burned Griffey, which means probably right-handed pitchers are going to be our friend out of the bullpen moving forward. This is kind of a scary at bat. I, I'm tempted to put the shift on so he doesn't cheat one. Ooh, that was not a cheat. Good swing by him. Can we rob this? Kind of need to take an angle to rob stuff this year. We missed. All right, this is getting interesting. Do we take Shohei out now? He's got Cobb Fox Musual. A left-handed pitcher is really not that good here. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to leave Shohei in. He's done great. I don't know what my opponent's PCI is looking like. I think Shohei's got about two more batters left in him, so maybe he can finish the eighth. We'll see. Good spots those first couple times. And uh, I really am tempted to go low and in fastball here, especially with all the splitters we've been burying. Please don't turn on this. He's late. Maze. Oh my god, Willie Mays is the greatest. <laughs> the amount of ground he just made up on that play was absurd, dude. Amazing play out there by, by, out there by Willie. Can't even talk. He's cheating fastball. Can't blame him. We've thrown a lot of those right on right. Hung a splitter. Thank goodness his bat's still fast. I think we should just throw off speed this entire bat, to be honest. 
I think a, I think a four seam is a recipe for a tie game. The problem is if he decides to slow his bat down and we make a bad pitch. Dang it, dude. Alright, here's your four seam. He did not swing. He would have destroyed that. I wonder if that was an accidental check swing. Slider 3-2. Front door and he pulls it foul. That was such a good pitch. Alright, we will try the high slider one final time. In the eighth inning. Oh! <laughs> All right, Shohei's out. Shohei is out. I think we go Goose here. Play the attributes game, especially with Frank Thomas on deck. If we go lefty there, it's really awkward if we if Stan gets on base. But this is a lesson in, in leverage, I guess, bullpen leverage. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it, but you want your best reliever for the like highest leverage situations. That is the main reason we had Rich Gossage warming up for the 8th instead of the ninth. He really badly did not like that pitch. So we're going to throw it again. He didn't want nothing to do with that. He was late there again. Good spot from Goose. All right, maybe he'll overcompensate and chase this changeup. Let's go, chat. This is a pitching clinic, and I'm hitting like I've never played MLB The Show before. <laughs> this has seriously been the weirdest game. Jeez, okay, Raleigh out of the pen. Pretty confident hitting against Raleigh. I, I usually just sit sinker versus Raleigh. It's really hard to throw all of his other stuff for, for good strikes. So that's usually my approach, approach against Raleigh. I've also had two solid years of hitting against him, so that's usually how I like to play it. Eventually, they're going to throw you one. Jimmy Fox with maybe our first good swing of the entire game. Gives us a little insurance in the bottom of the eighth. Shohei, by the way, went seven and two thirds. Gave up two solo shots, and that was it. Didn't walk anyone, as far as I can remember. What a showing. Didn't mean for that to be a pun, but it turned into one. Good spot by that slider. Does he go fork ball here? He did. I just feel like Raleigh's sequencing is so obvious, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I have hundreds of at-bats against him over two years, but... Man, you can just see instantly how much better I'm hitting when I'm facing somebody that I'm comfortable against. Back to back to start the inning when we scored three runs all game. Missed that just slightly. Lou Gehrig. But another good first pitch swing in there. And yeah, again, we're just we're just kind of keeping a fast bat. Basically just sitting sinker against Raleigh unless we try to predict a sequence like we did with the, the fork ball there. 0-2 fork balls are very very common from Raleigh Fingers, as I'm sure you guys know. Bat's still fast. He is pounding the strike zone, as he has been all game. And obviously, we're going to leave Goose in for the ninth, try to get that four-out save. I imagine we won't see any type of fork ball in this at-bat with two strikes. Wow. You proved me wrong. At least he's sticking to his guns. This has to be a sinker, right? No. Four seam. My bat's so fast right now, dude. I'm early on the four seam. That was in on my hands. Good spot. Really good spot there, man. And uh, if he's smart, he'd walk me here because I'm never taking Goose out. And I'm also not going to pause the game and warm anybody up because I've already decided that I'm not going to pinch hit. And uh, by pausing the game to warm someone up, it's going to put in his mind that I might pinch hit and then he may walk me. Or he might know that I'm thinking about my pitcher, which I don't want. I tried to check swing that. That was horrible. I think I'm going to be safe. Oh, Story's got a cannon. Okay, we get a couple insurance runs there. We try to close it with Goose. I guess I can talk about how I pitch with Goose, since he's another guy that a lot of people say they struggle with, that I just dominate with. I mean, he's pretty rare to have. He's got a, a bunch of million stub orders. But I have absolutely no problems with Goose ever. So really, a rocking chair is your best friend with Goose, especially run on right. It's keeping them off balance as much as possible. Rocking chair means fast, slow, fast, slow until you figure out their bat speed. This guy uh, has been very good at adjusting pitch by pitch as well. Uh, I can't believe he missed that. That was the worst pitch of all time. And so really, like we said earlier in the game, we decided that double ups are really bad. So uh, that's... Even playing even better role into the rocking chair theory. Uh, we'll try to do his favorite pitch against him one more time. He was late still. 
do I finally double up? No, I gotta trust. I'm gonna trust my trust my approach here. We'll go back to the slow. The inside slurve. He saw it the whole way, but he swung late. Emergency hack. Great play by Tatis. One more out to go from Goose. And uh, this is definitely a spot where he could bunt because he could needs he needs base runners at all costs. So again, we're gonna play the bunt. We'll go sinker downish. This way, if he's sitting fastball, he's gonna be early. All right, that was an amazing pitch. Try to go change up high and away. I don't do too much cute stuff with Goose, honestly. Maybe like high slurves to lefties, but that's about it. Regardless, we get the W, the five to two victory. Again, my apologies for hitting so poorly. Uh, but that was an absolute clinic by Shohei, and uh, he did end up walking one. I was wrong earlier. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this game or how to use Shohei Otani in general, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Let me know what you thought of the gameplay in general. I'm happy we put up four in the last two half innings to, to go ahead and win this one. So appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all your support this year. I love you guys more than anything, dudes. Thanks for everything. See you later.